Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, I know that it's been a bit since I last uploaded and I am sorry about that. Uh, I did make a community post about my absence and why I was gone. Uh, basically, it's just mental health things. <laughs> so yeah, it was just I hit a bit of a wall um, with my depression and uh, that's why I had a little absence there. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of trying to take it slow and improve day by day. So um, I really wanted to get a video out because I don't like leaving the channel um, for like a long time. So I decided to sit down and just kind of build whatever came out of my brain. And so that's what today's build is for today. Um, I just kind of started building. I didn't have a plan for it. I didn't have any vibes that I wanted. I just went on this lot in Copperdale and I just started building. So yeah, um, basically it's a family home. I think there's one, two, three, there's three bedrooms and also like a little, um, like bedroom sort of space in the basement because I did think that there's a couple living here with their child and their toddler and one of the couple's like brother is living in the basement like maybe he's just going through a rough time or something I don't know but um yeah it looks like someone's kind of hanging out down there for a little bit so there's a little kind of basement area for somebody um if they have like a family member who lives with them um yeah that's just kind of what I was thinking and that's pretty much it I didn't have like a story or anything it was just a couple their child and toddler and then um a young adult sim like in the basement area so yeah that's pretty much it um it's pretty simple uh, i wanted to do a family home just because i haven't done one in a bit well i don't know if that's true i honestly can't even remember what <laughs> the last thing i uploaded was but i know i've been doing quite a bit of like apartments and stuff so i don't know I just wanted to do a family home so this is what came out of it um, and like I said this is built in Copperdale so yeah the upper corner does not show you the lot name because I bulldozed something I had here before that I was building um, so yeah that is not accurate that is not what this space is called but it's like that one that's kind of just across from the like boardwalk thing as you can see it like in the background over there um i think this is like originally a rental in the world so yeah it's that lot <laughs> if you're wondering um it is a pretty long video today i think it's like 45 or 43 minutes not including like the picture um part at like the end of the video um so it's quite a, a long one so if you want to get a snack or a drink or something maybe a tea or a hot chocolate or i don't know maybe you don't want to drink that because it's warm where you live but it's not where i'm living <laughs> um but yeah just any kind of snack or drink or whatever um if you want to sit back and relax and watch this um video um i guess i can just ramble on for the next little bit because that's all that i can really do <laughs> Um, and it's quite a long one, but, um, I guess something that I've been, excuse me, sorry, my <laughs> voice just cracked so much there. I'm sorry about that. Um, it's the lack of sleep. <laughs> um, but anyways, something that I've been thinking about recently, because obviously, like, I'm on Tumblr, um, with, like, the Sims community and, like, that kind of thing, but... I found that my dash seems kind of empty right now. I don't know if it's like that for other people. I think I've seen a couple people saying that. Um, their dashes feel like kind of empty, like it's kind of barren right now. I don't really know like what the vibe is with that. Um, I don't know, Simbler like as a whole just feels really dead right now. I don't know if it's like a cycle that happens. Like sometimes there's cycles, like even on YouTube there's a cycle where like sometimes you're sub your subscriptions and stuff will just be like empty for a little bit or like it's not entertaining stuff or maybe the channels that you watch a lot um so i don't know if it's like a, a cycle that tumblr goes through and specifically simbler goes through 
um or if like it's like hit a lull or if like people are like genuinely done playing the sims 4 i don't know if they if there's like i don't know it's just it's how it's been feeling over there it's very like dead <laughs> um it's like the same couple people posting maybe i'm just not following a lot of people but even if i go on like the tags for sims 4 it just feels like there's not a lot of posts and stuff like that um even like with cc like it just feels like everyone kind of slowed down maybe it's just like the time of year it's kind of slow um like in the winter time i feel like people get kind of either depressed or um just kind of taking life a little bit slower and so maybe that's what it is but i i do wonder if it's like a cycle or if it's actually people being done with playing the game because i know that i'm seeing a lot of like people switching from sims 4 to the sims 3 like a lot of people are playing the sims 3 instead um which is interesting i'm seeing a lot more content um for the sims 3 is that something that you guys would be interested in i don't know if it would like kind of seep into like the youtube world because obviously like sims 4 content is still something people are watching but like do people want to see sims 3 content as well like i don't know builds or otherwise i'm just interested like do you guys watch both kinds of content or do you guys just watch um sims 4 content just let me know in the comments i am curious about that um but yeah it sucks that it feels dead right now and i also wonder if it's because of the for rent pack release being like so bad um i wonder if that's also a reason why like are people done with it because of the pack being so terrible but that's happened so many times in the past and people still like stayed in the community so is it like was this like the final straw for a lot of people um yeah it's interesting it did like kind of i noticed a lull after the release so it could be related to that um, also, something that's interesting, I'm like reading a lot of reviews for the for rent pack and they're so inconsistent. Like some say it feels like it's split down the middle. People either say they got it and it's terrible and buggy and it's unplayable and they can't open their games or their saves are corrupted and like all this stuff. And then the other half is saying it runs fine for them and they have like minor issues. So I don't know like what the consensus is because it's so inconclusive and it's so inconsistent between people. It really feels straight down the middle, a divide of like it either works for you or it doesn't, which is interesting. I don't think I've seen a pack be like that before. I think majority of the time it's like a clear sweep that it's like not functional or like playable or it's super buggy i don't think i've seen it this like divided before um if you do have the for rent pack how is it for you is it buggy and unplayable is it playable with minor issues um because i'm seeing a lot of like different um responses and like reviews for that which is interesting to me that it's like so divided um but yeah i don't know it's really weird um, yeah, it's just been interesting. It's been interesting being on Simbler at this time and seeing the lull of content um, that people are playing. A lot of people going on hiatus, a lot of people saying that they're done with the game, like, completely, um, and, like, they don't want to play The Sims anymore, and then there's some people that are um, moving on to other games, and then there's some people that are going backwards and they're moving on to like previous installments and they're trying to play the sims 2 or they're trying to play the sims 3 um yeah it's been interesting it is really interesting to me um i've been playing both for a couple of months now i was having a lot of like troubleshooting issues with the sims 3 just because like you have to do like a whole bunch of stuff in order for it to get recognized by like newer computer systems so um i had done it wrong which i didn't realize for like a couple years and that's why i was finding it like kind of lagging quite a bit 
Um, and then I was directed by somebody on Tumblr to this like Steam forum where someone kind of laid out like in a whole organized um, forum how to make it run easier and it definitely helped and I <laughs> am so sad that it took me this long to find that forum. Um, I guess because I don't play it through Steam so I, I just never came across it but that's been a massive game changer literally <laughs> in order to play um, The Sims 3 and have it like run smoothly so yeah that was it's nice to be able to play it so I have been playing both um, I've been playing The Sims 4 and I've been playing The Sims 3 um, very different vibes obviously um, it's interesting, like, that whole, like, internet discussion, argument, war thing between The Sims 3 versus The Sims 4. Um, I know a lot of people are, like, they feel very strongly one way or the other. Um, some people, like, don't care. <laughs> um, I'm kind of in the lane of just play whatever makes you happy. If Sims 3 makes you more happy, play that. If Sims 4 makes you more happy to play, play that. I think... Um, I get kind of sad when it's like really like, um, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? When it's like very, very, very negative on one and very, very negative on the other. Because I think that there's pros and cons to both games, even though obviously Sims 4 has a lot of issues. Um, they both have a lot of issues. I think all games in the Sims franchise have issues in some way or another. Whether it's like playability or gameplay problems or bugs or things that just didn't stand the test of time. Um, just, you know, that's just kind of how it is, I guess, in games in general, but, you know, in the Sims franchise as well. So it's interesting hearing like the arguments of both sides. Um, but it's got me thinking, I guess, like seeing all the Sims 3 posts coming out, people being like, oh, like, this is it. It's got me thinking about, like, the differences and, like, obviously, like, playing both games the past couple months. Um, the differences between the two of them. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'll, <laughs> to fill out the time for this video, um, I'd like to talk about it. About the things that I like and the things that I don't like. But I don't want to, like, slam on one or slam on the other. I just want to, like, really think about the pros and the cons and the good and the bad of both. Because I do think that both have positive things and I think both have negative things. Um, I guess, like, to start, I, I will start with, like, I guess, like, the cast. Um, so, like, the creative aspect of both. For sure, I think I like the more realistic body models, the actual base models of the way that the they're like molded um, of The Sims 3 more. I like the way they look, like the base of them. And I think it's because they're more anatomically correct. Not in like that way, <laughs> you know what I mean? But like literally like the just the way the body's built and the way the head's shaped and like it just feels, it is like more anatomically correct than in The Sims 4. They're very like low poly. <laughs> like if you turn your sim to the side and you're like, I find I notice it the most with like chins and stuff where they have like this kind of like rigid, like spiky angles and it's just cause they're low poly. Um, and I think The Sims 3 model body models are a lot higher poly. So it just looks a lot better. Um, I will say that I don't make sims now without presets or custom sliders, and I do- I do it for both games. I use them for The Sims 3 and I use it for The Sims 4. Um, but The Sims 3 sims, I personally feel that they have a better overall quality because the bodies are higher poly, like I said before, and they're graphically, I think, more pleasing to me just because of- the way that they're built and also like the skins and stuff like because obviously I use custom content but I just they look graphically so much better than even if you got a custom skin in The Sims 4 like even if you went and got like the most alpha skin you could find and you put it on The Sims 4 like the 
the quality of the skin still isn't going to come through. I guess maybe if you had like an HQ mod, but I've never put that in my game just because I don't want it to like slow down. But it'll never be the greatest quality that it could be like in The Sims 3 just because it's not the body model itself as a base isn't as high quality. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it does to me. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I think I, I, I prefer like the actual base and like the way that they're are they look anatomically also for some reason sims 4 sims feel like they're very short does anyone else feel like that i don't know what it is i don't know if it's the items like in comparison to them because a lot of items in sims 4 are weirdly huge for absolutely no reason but i find that um yeah they just seem very short to me for some reason like something about their necks i don't know <laughs> I always have to like, I have a slider to put like their necks up a little bit higher. I also do that, I will say, in The Sims 3 as well. The necks in both games just feel like they're too short to me, but I don't know if that's just my own thinking. But anyways, um, yeah. I will say though, if The Sims 3 had draggable features, um, like The Sims 3 has, or sorry, The Sims 4 has, um, instead of like just like the sliders, because honestly, if you are like me and you have it modded the modded sliders in sims 3 is a lot to scroll through to find like which one you need um so i would honestly prefer having the draggable features um if they had them in the sims 3 that would be it like i would love that um another thing um i guess is like the graphics wise between the games um I think I would like an in-between. I know some people are like, oh, like I hate how realistic Sims 3 is or I don't like how cartoony Sims 4 is. I feel like I'm just like right in the middle. Like I don't prefer very cartoony and I also don't love the roughness of some of the textures from The Sims 3, which I know could also be its age because obviously it's an older game. Um, but ideally, just personally and my like personal taste i would like it to lean a little more alpha and realistic in graphics but still stylized in some way i want like a stylized realism if that makes sense <laughs> um where it's not like literally trying to be real life but it's also not trying to be like kiddish cartoony because it feels kind of juvenile sometimes i feel unless you have like custom content and other things in your game um, so yeah, I guess like an updated version of The Sims 3 graphics that are properly optimized so that it can run well, I think would be chef's kiss. <laughs> um, as for gameplay, I actually disagree. This is going to be like a whole spiel because <laughs> I disagree a bit with the points that are made against The Sims 4 in terms of gameplay. Which surprises me actually because I agreed a lot with a lot of the negative sentiments that people had with it early on um, when I first started playing it. And it took me a little bit to play Sims 4 because I grew up playing The Sims 3 and I was really attached to The Sims 3 because it got me through like rough times in my life throughout middle and high school. So I think it was like maybe three years? It was like two or three years, I think, into playing, or sorry, into The Sims 4 that I started to play it. Um, so yeah, but I have been playing obviously both games uh, recently and I find myself, when I'm in one or the other, I miss something about the previous or the newer installment. Um, there's always something that I'm missing between the two. Um, basically, I like the way that sims interact more in the sims 4 than in the sims 3 and i know i feel like that's a hot take because i don't think a lot of people at least from the discussions that i see i don't think a lot of people feel that way um a lot of people say that they prefer the gameplay and everything in the sims 3 but let me explain what i'm saying <laughs> um let me just get a sip of water because i need it <laughs> Okay, so basically, I think that The Sims 4's 
Why did that feel like it's not correct? It is called The Sims 4. I don't know why that felt weird to me. I think that The Sims 4 emotion system is a big improvement from the previous installments of The Sims. I think that this is the main reason that I feel more connected to my Sims 4 Sims than I do with my Sims 3 Sims. Having your Sims come home from like work angry or tense because they got a performance loss from a bad decision that they made or having like teens come back sad because they got into a falling out with a friend. I feel like that makes them like playing with the Sims feel like they're actual people with like real emotions that affect them and their decisions and how they interact with others around them. And then in The Sims 3, you still get like bad days and stuff from your Sims, but the things that cause them don't affect them emotionally. They just are like tense or they can't do like certain interactions um, that they want with other Sims. And it kind of like it does affect the gameplay in some ways because you literally can't do some interactions which i think is true for both games like some interactions are locked if your sim is feeling this sort of way but i feel like there's like a big difference at least for me that um it's like mood it's like moods that affects the sims in sims 3 but it's like emotions that affects the sims in the sims 4. um I don't know if that makes sense because it sounds very similar and they are kind of similar but it feels different when you're playing the game if you've played the sims 3 and the sims 4 so basically the sims 4 has like emotional states that affects them and how they interact with others and sims 3 has mood states that affects them and how they're able to like perform in their lives and i personally because it's all my personal opinions i'm not saying all of this is facts but this is just like my own personal um, opinions and feelings about the games um, but I think that the emotion system from The Sims 4 is more effective for me personally to feel more attached to my sims and want to play them I think it's easier for me to like understand the reason behind their decisions that they make because of their emotional state rather than just being in a certain like mood like I'm uncomfortable or I'm like kind of tense right now or I'm stressed because I'm my fun meter's low, which is how it is in like The Sims 3. I think them feeling sad or angry or they're scared. I think it just, I don't know, it feels more human, I guess, to me and it feels more realistic to me. Maybe it's because I'm an emotional person. <laughs> Maybe that's really what it is. Maybe it depends on what kind of person you are. I'm very emotional um, and I feel like my, this is probably negative, honestly, but a lot of like my choices and stuff are based upon my emotions which is gen probably it's not great i'm like outing myself right now but <laughs> um i don't know i think i can connect with it more like my sims more in that way because there's like emotional reasons behind um their decisions that they're making and how they're treating people um but anyways so i for that reason like i feel like that that system's like a massive improvement um now it's for like actual interactions like with other sims so like you know social interactions and stuff i think i like neither game <laughs> so like i hate how over the top a lot of interaction animations are in the sims 4 and i've talked about this before um but i also don't like how wooden and kind of robotic they feel in the sims 3. i also feel like there's way more social interactions in general in the sims 4 than in the sims 3 like you have the more options to ask certain sims things um which makes like conversations with sims a lot more entertaining i guess in the sims 4 just because there's more of like options um to ask them things than in the sims 3 um like you'll have a limited amount of options for socialization in the sims 3 but the actual animations are more realistic but they're just a little bit robotic but i think that's also due to the sims 3's age of the game because it was made so long ago some animations just don't feel like as smooth as they could be but i do like that they're more realistic and they're more toned down um and they're usually more detailed as well especially when sims are like doing cooking and like other activities the actual animations themselves like they're really taking you can tell that they put more time and effort into animating them even though they don't feel as smooth at some times but i really genuinely just think that's because of the age 
um, at the time that they made the animations. Um, so yeah, those are kind of like the animation social interaction differences between the two. Um, there's obviously, like I just said, like there's <laughs> pros and cons to both. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, I think they both have good things about them and then they both have things they don't like. I think I like the realism and the detailed animations from Sims 3, but I don't like how robotic they feel, but I like the social interaction options from The Sims 4 because it feels like you have more to talk about with people. I think that's kind of like a TLDR <laughs> of that. Um, I also feel like because The Sims 4 has more social interactions, it makes building relationships with other Sims more interesting because you can find out more about them with different choices rather than having to choose the same like five or seven choices that you're limited to in The Sims 3. Um, and also interacting with kids, I think, in The Sims 4 is more fun to watch and to play because there are more interactions to, like, interact with kids, I feel like. Maybe it's just me, I don't know, but I feel like when I'm playing with, like, parents and they're, like, interacting with the kids, I feel like there's more interaction options in The Sims 4. Um, now with all that being said, a lot of people say that The Sims 4 has nothing to do. This is like a big thing like people are always like oh there's nothing to do in this game like it's so boring there's so much to do in the sims uh three and i also agreed with this for a while and then as i've been playing kind of both side by side there's like truth to this and then there's also some qualms i have with it <laughs> at the same time um both games up at the point that we are right now have almost the same amount a thing like activities if you're taking like world adventures out from the sims 3 because that has like a whole bunch of stuff that you do in it for like exploring and stuff like that and i know we have jungle adventure but that doesn't even like come close to the world adventures like i'm so sorry <laughs> the sims 3 world adventures like could be its own standalone thing in my opinion because it really does feel like you're playing a different game it feels like side questing honestly like it just so i'm not gonna include that in this because that has different things for you to do, but it is basically like a, it's almost a spinoff, but not. Um, but anyways. Um, yeah, both games up to this point that we're at right now, with the unbelievable amount of like packs and stuff that we have in The Sims 4, have almost the same amount of activities. Like, obviously not every single one is in both games, but most of like the main ones like are present in The Sims 4 in some way, except for like the seasons festivals from The Sims 3. And I think that there are three reasons why a lack of activities is brought up a lot in like arguments about both games. So number one, <laughs> if you ask anybody what their favorite Sims 3 pack is, I think more often than not, it will probably be seasons or it's generations, but usually it's seasons. And I think that is one big reason people feel The Sims 4 has less to do because a lot of the time the festivals in The Sims 3 is like the main thing you bring your Sims families to go and do in order to like get out of the house and like have fun. It's for most people what they choose to do with their Sims for entertainment. I personally would absolutely love having festivals the way that they were in The Sims 3 with like the apple bobbing and the eating contest, the kissing booths. The, like skating thing <laughs> what's it called where you can like snowboard on that thing during like the winter festival it's like it, it's really fun to play um and i would absolutely love that if they like included that um in the sims 4 i think it would improve it and obviously having more activities is always welcome um the second reason i think people argue are let Sorry, the second reason I think people argue that there are less things to do, my brain's like <laughs> trying to calculate my thoughts, um, is because you have to go through a loading screen to do all of the things you can freely do in The Sims 3. So the sense of like freedom that you have in The Sims 3 is, I think, one of the main reasons why Sims 4 feels like it falls so short in that area. The main reason is 100% content being split in between packs, but 
I think it comes down to the feeling that where your sims are right now isn't part of a larger world. It's like a movie set. I genuinely feel that if Sims 4 had been an open world, I think people would be a lot less likely to say that there's less to do because they'd be more inclined to actually go do the things with their sims if they knew they didn't have to wait for, like through a loading screen in order to do the activity. And I think the third reason is one I kind of like just touched on, which is the biggest problem with The Sims 4 in general is content being split so ridiculously throughout multiple packs that it makes it so less people actually have the chance and opportunity to experience a full game with the same amount of activities, mostly, not all, but almost the same amount of activities that you could do in The Sims 3. Both games have almost the same amount of activities give or take. I'm not saying verbatim that it's exactly the same, but most of the most of it is there. And because they almost have the same amount, you could like get the majority of them in like three packs in The Sims 3, and then in The Sims 4 it would take you like five packs for the same experience. So I think the greediness of EA and the absence of like the original people at Maxis, I think are like the biggest downfall of The Sims franchise. And this isn't related to like the activities thing, but another thing I thought of is like multitasking and routing is a hundred billion times better in The Sims 4 and is like a massive improvement from The Sims 3. Like routing in The Sims 3 is a nightmare and multitasking like that we have in The Sims 4 makes everyday life like, you know, making dinner and talking to one another or someone's like working on something, but they're, you know, interacting with someone else at the same time. I think it just makes like family life and just life in general feel more realistic to me. Now, with all of that being said, <laughs> Sims 3 has its own reserved VIP table in my books <laughs> because I grew up with it and for me, like, that is The Sims. Like, when I think about The Sims, like, that's The Sims. And I also want to say that while I do like a lot of the social interactions in The Sims 4, I do think that there are things in The Sims 3 that are better. I think that the careers are more fun because the playable ones like the investigator career, the inventor and the firefighter career, I think that they're a lot more fun to play than the playable careers in The Sims 4. And I like the overall feeling in The Sims 3. Like the open world really does make you feel like everyone you see has a life of their own because they literally do like they go home and they'll play with their kids or they'll get in a fight with their wife <laughs> or they'll play with their dog and like everyone literally has their own lives in the sims 3 and like if they show up to a lot like you go to the park or something and like sims show up there like they're there to like enjoy themselves and they're not just like put there for set dressing or like spawned in for the sake of spawning in like it just feels like a really a real li live like breathing world um and also the bars <laughs> the bars in the sims 3 feel more like actual bars and the animations are more realistic um which is better in my opinion than the overly cartoony ones that we have in the sims 4. um and there are also more risks and consequences in the sims 3 and bad things can happen like at random and that keeps you on your toes and it makes playing feel like anything can happen at any time. So it feels like there's more spontaneity, I guess, in The Sims 3. So yeah, I don't know. There's pros and cons to both games and I really do wish that, like if I had to put it like in a list that one, <laughs> EA wasn't so greedy with the sheer amount of packs that they squeeze out when they could make fewer, fuller packs like in The Sims 3 and two, that Sims 4 was like, if it had like an open world, because that would be so much better and it would have improved it so much. And I think if those two things had been done for Sims 4, I think it would have had a fair chance at surpassing other Sims games in terms of playability and overall game improvements. If all the original people who you could see from playing previous installments they genuinely loved what they were making they put effort into the animations 
they thought of funny zany things um that could happen to your sims the consequences that could happen um the different like gameplay items that they had that your sims could interact with um just like the heart the heart and the soul of the previous installments um i think if those people had made the sims 4 and they released the same reasonable amount of content and a small amount of packs and it was an open world and it had slightly improved realistic stylized graphics i think i'd be the happiest simulation game player <laughs> Because I think that would be ideal. And I think that's what everyone kind of wanted. They wanted the same charm and the feeling from previous Sims installments with updated graphics and improvements like better routing and playability for like, you know, the optimization that wasn't in The Sims 3. Um, yeah, there's so many things that I think both did. Um, where some fell short and some really did improve on the games as a whole. But yeah, I don't know. I guess I just wanted to <laughs> talk about that because I've been thinking about it. Um, with the like influx of people moving on to The Sims 3 and some people kind of just taking a hiatus in general from The Sims 4. It was something that was like, it's been on my mind. So I wanted to, I don't know just talk about it <laughs> a little bit and also padded out the amount of time um that i need to think about topics to talk about for this long video <laughs> so i hope you guys really did have a snack or something because that was quite long-winded but as you can see um we are already upstairs in the bedrooms um we've done the main floor and the basement area with a sim living down there and now we're into the toddler's room right now um yeah i think it's a cute little room um i have to talk about what i'm doing on the screen now because my rant's over <laughs> that was all i had to say um about the little argument between the two games i really do like both games i know some people feel like it almost feels sometimes that people feel like they have to choose one and they can't like both um Which feels very, I don't know, I, I get kind of annoyed sometimes seeing that, especially on Simbler. Like, it's okay to like one, it's okay to like the other, it's okay to like both, it's okay to hate both, it's okay to hate one. But like, I think being overly negative about one or the other doesn't really do anything. Especially like, I don't know, sometimes it just feels like they're disliking the people that play one game do you know what i mean sometimes it doesn't even feel like it's about the game sometimes it just feels like people are trying to make people who play one version of or one game from this installment like feel bad about it but i'm like why are you trying to make somebody feel bad if that's just the game that they happen to have and it's the one that they enjoy the most like some people just can't run the sims 3 um for like whatever reason on whatever computer they have some people can't run the sims 4 like it's it just is what it is you know um i don't think either way i think my my changing my changing i think my thoughts have changed a lot <laughs> over time of how i felt about both i think playing both at the same time for a couple weeks has kind of changed my opinion i guess on the whole argument as a whole because <laughs> i do see pros and cons in both um and sometimes like a lot of the time it's well founded like the i guess feeling of resentment i guess some people have for the sims 4 just because of how greedy it's obviously become um but if those, you know, the dudes in suits that are making it feel this terrible and that are trying to squeeze every last dollar out of everybody, if they weren't involved with it and the people just wanted to make a fun game, I think it could have really, I think it really could have been, you know, the game that we all wanted. <laughs> and I don't have anything to say about The Sims 5 that's positive, so I'm not going to say anything at all. <laughs> 
because from what I've seen so far, mm, and how we know, um, you know, their business model is going right now and how it's going to be online, like, it's just not, you know? I can't talk about it because it's just going to be, it's going to be overwhelmingly negative, so... I really do think that The Sims 4 is probably going to be my last Sims game. Who knows? Maybe I'll eat my words and for some reason The Sims 5, it would be like good. I don't know. I don't think that's what's going to happen, but I can't really say I'd never play it because I don't know what they're going to do with it. Um, a lot of it's like kind of hush hush at this point, so who knows? We have other things coming out, Life by You and um, Pair Lives. Um, I know people feel certain ways about both of them. Um, I think out of the two, I'd be most- I think I'm most excited for Pair Lives. Um, it doesn't mean like I love everything about it, like, but it's also in development, so I can't really say that anything that I've seen is going to be final, because it might not be, but I like that they're trying and they're going into a direction of not microtransactioning everything, which is a good direction. <laughs> And so, yeah, I think out of the two, I think I'm the most excited for that um, life simulation game. I think we definitely need more. I think we need more competitors and just like more options, you know? I think we just, it's good to have options. Um, so yeah. And uh, for sure, I think if, you know, Pair Lives comes out and I really like it, then probably post things about it on here to be honest i don't know if i'd make a second like different channel but i don't know that's like future things <laughs> i don't have to think about that right now um anywho we are in the last room it's the kids room obviously and um yeah i think this kid is really outdoorsy obviously they seem to have a scouting board and like, you know, nature vibes. So I think that they're just a kid that likes being in nature and probably does a lot of like scouting and different activities and is like, kind of like a go-getter. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about when I was building this room. But yeah, I think we're like nearing the end of the video. The pictures are gonna play for a little bit of a preview of the build. And as always, the download link is in the description and included in the download is um, a CC list for some of the stuff that I've used in here and then the tray files as well. So you can find that all in the download link that I leave in the description and I think that's it. I don't really have much else to talk about. I know I didn't talk about like build by in the comparison of the two games but I honestly I think prefer The Sims 4 build by just because it's a thousand million times easier than the one in The Sims 3. It's really hard to build in The Sims 3 because the placement of items is kind of off, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that was a given, but I do prefer The Sims 4 building. Um, I don't know. I'm just saying random things at this point, but the, the video's over. <laughs> so um, I'll see you guys next time with a new video. I don't know what it's going to be. I might put up a voting poll on my community board, so look out for that for the next video. You can vote on it, and I will see you all next time. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs>